welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor and this is Wrigley. So today's video is going to be over our Apple Cheeks cloth diapers. Um, I decided to cloth diaper Wrigley. Um, from the beginning, I knew I wanted to. My cousin's um, wife cloth diapered her two girls and now her third child. And um, I just kind of fell in love with them. So here is what this one looks like on him. He has on Who Cars. That's the name of it. It has little cars all over it. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be going over the basics that you would need to know. We um, actually are exclusively using Apple Cheeks. We've never used any other brand. So, um, it's kind of hard for me to help other people who cloth diaper who don't use um, Apple Cheeks just because I've never used any other brand. Um, we started with these ones and they fit perfect. The, the fit was just great on him. Um, we didn't start cloth at the hospital. We waited, I think, 10 to 14 days, so almost two weeks after he was born before we started using them. Um, now with the next baby, whenever that is, we will start from the hospital. I actually did take the um, diapers to the hospital with us because I did have plans to start, but with breastfeeding, uh, I wanted to get a good handle on that first before we started cloth. So we just went ahead and used um, Pampers when we first started. And then um, when he was about two weeks old, we finally just jumped in and used them. So I'm going to put Wrigley in his crib and let him play with his toys real quick. You might hear him um, scream and talk because he's at that age where he loves to talk and to scream, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off um, showing you the covers because um, Apple Cheeks is a little bit different than um, other <laughs> see um, other cloth uh, diapers that I have seen before. Um, there's actually a cover and then there's inserts that are sold separately from the cover. So. Um, Oh, you're gonna lose your toys if you keep throwing them down there. Um, so Apple Cheeks offers three different sized diapers. Um, actually, no, sorry. They offer ones, twos, threes, fours, um, one size, and that that's it. But we don't have any threes or fours. We have a size one, size two, and one size. Um, and that's one thing I love about Apple Cheeks that they actually went to bigger sizes. So for those older kids or for special needs or you know anything like that, they make diaper the diapers big enough for um, those people. So it's kind of great that they do do that. So um, this is actually a size one. Um, this fits approximately seven to like 20 pounds. Um, Wrigley is actually still in the size one um, and he can also wear one size. So he has one size on right now and I love the fit of one size right now, but I still do use our size ones. They still fit him and I'm still going to use them until they don't fit him. Um, we haven't tried any of the size two on him yet. Um, I'm sure they might work, but they might still be a little bit big. Um, but they do say the approximate sizing, um, because every baby's built different and, and that's kind of what, um, how you determine your fit. Um, I know that babies with chunkier thighs uh, seem to move up quicker in the sizing. I mean, Wrigley's got some chunky thighs, but um, we have made the size one work and he still has, I think, one button left on each side, if not two buttons. 
So um, it just kind of depends on the fit of your baby and the way that they're built. So, um, but this is a size one, as I've shown you before. Uh, this print is called Ocean's Playground. Um, it's so cute. It's got different ocean creatures on it. It's got like a mermaid, crab. Um, so that's a size one and it fits somewhere between seven and um, 20 pounds. Um, here is a one size. Oh, thought I heard Anthony come home. Here is a one size. So we have the rise snapped in the middle. The middle one, you can't see the very top one because I'll unsnap this so you can see it. But there's the bottom rise snap, the middle, and then there's a top one. Um, the very bottom one, you would snap up if you have like a newborn wearing these um, or just a smaller child that can still wear the rise snap to the very first one. Um, Wrigley is still in the two. We do unsnap this at night just because we um, stuff them. So, um, but yeah, so that's the middle. So let me unsnap this to show you the third row. Um, I know there's other company, diaper companies that offer the one size. Um, I think actually most of them offer the one size, but... Um, Apple Cheeks was just a sized um, company and then I think in 2017 they started offering one size. So here is it fully unsnapped. So this is kind of like the same um, size as a size 2. It's just a little bit smaller. But this is... Um, what a one size would look like if it was unsnapped. But we do have it snapped right now. And then this is a size two. These, um, this is actually a brand new one. This has never been on him. So, excuse you. So this is a size two. Um, it fits anywhere between like 22 and I think 40 pounds. Um, once again, it's kind of just like the fit of your baby, how they're built. Um, but so this is a size two. It is so pretty. This is one of my favorites. So I will go back and talk a little bit about the size. The ends we'll get in, about in the inside. Um, so, you know, they are a pocket diaper, but you can make them as an all-in-two, which means you put the um, insert on the very, the very top of the fleece. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> so, here is what the inside looks like. This is a pocket with holes. So, this is water resistant. So it is like it looks like laminated is kind of what it looks like. Um, but this is really soft fleece. So you can take your inserts and you can stuff them in here and make it a pocket. Or you can take the inserts and lay them on top. Uh, we currently lay them on top during the day and then at night we stuff. So that, and then here is the snaps. So there's two, four, six, eight. There's eight snaps on the top and bottom. And then you've got the two snaps here that go to here. And there is elastic on the edges of the outside and then around the belly and the butt. So. That is basically, I mean, the cover. So the covers and the inserts are sold separately, um, which I personally love because I can um, up his absorbency or lower it, um, whereas some, their, it, their inserts are like connected in the inside and then you have to keep adding, you can't take out or... You know, so that's one reason why I love Apple Cheeks. Um, 
They are a bit more expensive than other uh, companies, but I am one of those people that I will spend a little bit more for good quality um, products. So, hey. So Apple Cheeks is awesome. They're, I mean, these last, I actually bought a lot of my size one stash uh, used because um, there is a buy sell trade site on Facebook. So a lot of my size ones came used. Um, and all you really have to do is follow a, uh, it's called, it's a strip. So Wrigley. He's just smiling. He's like, he's rotten. Um, but you follow a, um, you'll strip them just in case there's anything like on them that's, you know, you don't know where they came from. So, um, there, you follow a strip and then they will be ready to go. But you also can buy brand new ones. And there's a few, uh, boutiques that have, um, Apple Cheeks that actually offer layaway. My Little Viking is my favorite. Um, she's out of New York and she just has an online store and she is fabulous. So, and I've um, built my one size stash through um, layaway. There you go. But I built my one size stash through Layaway, through her. Um, and just like now with the new releases, I just buy um, one size because that's what he's in right now. Um, and they will you be, I will be able to use them with a newborn too. So um, the one, the size ones are just more trim when they're younger, when they're um, newborns. So, uh, I know a lot of people that just start out with the ones and then, you know, move up. And that's what we have did. And for next baby, that's what we'll do. Because um, I do like the fit of the size ones. And I actually still like the fit on them on Wrigley still too. So, um, so that's just the inside of them. And I'm going to open up the one size and show you the difference um, of how, like, bigger the sizing. So, you can see that the one size is bigger. Um, a lot of the people have trouble with their kids' um, butt cracks being longer. So they have to move up out of the size ones because of that. Even though their um, babies still fit in size one, if their butt crack is closer to the top here, um, say if they poop, they're probably more than likely going to have a blowout. So um, Wrigley still has a good amount of room in these, so we're gonna use these till we literally outgrows them. But we do love the fit of the one size. Um, so you can, I wanna show you how you can snap these up to make them smaller. So I'm gonna make it on the very, a uh, bottom snap, which would be used for like a uh, newborn or a smaller child. And you can see how um, small that does get. You can see these are so trim that um, he can wear his jeans with them and he doesn't have a problem. Um, I know some are bulky, but then again, you know, I only use Apple Cheeks, so... Um, but here's how small this one gets. So I have seen pictures of them fit newborns perfectly. Um, I will definitely use our one size stash on a newborn too. Um, but you know, I like the, si the fit of the size ones because they are very trim on a newborn. But we will more than likely use any stash that we can. Um, but you can see that how small that gets. And then like these, I thought he just banged his head. Um, you can snap these in and you can see that they get really tiny. So that is um, how you 
snap. And then just like before I showed you that he's in the middle snap. Um, and I think he is close to like 21, 22 pounds, something like that. And he's probably like 29 inches tall. And he is still in the middle snap. So he's got a lot of room to work with, with the one size. Um, and I know a lot of people, um, which me personally at the beginning, I was like, I don't want all those rise snaps to show. I like the look of the um, one size, which there's no rise snaps. But um, once I tried the one size on him, I love them. So the size two, I don't have much experience with yet. Um, but as you can see, they are larger. Um, and, and most kids that outgrow their one size when they're smaller and chunky, they usually will thin out and will be able to use their one size again. Um, it just depends on the build of your baby. But you can see the inside, how fluffy white that is. This is brand new. It's never been on. Um, how fluffy and I mean, guys, this is so soft. Um, it is so soft. So if you stuff, this is what's going to be on their skin and it's lovely. They don't even know they're wet because the um, pee will go through the fleece and this will stay dry. So he won't even know that um, he's wet. Um, but I, we do lay our inserts on top of the fleece but we do use a liner and I'm just about getting ready to jump into that of the inserts um, since I've showed you the covers. So size two fits anywhere between uh, two or sorry, uh, 20 to 35, 40 pounds. Um, one size fits anywhere like between like six pounds and 25, 30 pounds. Really, it just depends on the build of your kid. It really does. And then um, size one is fits approximately to like seven pounds uh, to 20 pounds. So those are the covers. And once again, this is just going to be the basic of Apple Cheeks. And then um, in further in the future, I'm going to do like get in real depth, show you like our, um, you know, routine of how we use them, um, our wash routine. Because I know a lot of people are very hesitant, hesitant to do cloth because they are nervous about uh, washing them. But once you just kind of dive in and just jump in, in and do it, it's literally so easy. And I'm so glad that we did this with Wrigley. Um, and I'm glad I did it with my first child. That way with the second one, I will know, um, know how to do everything and I won't be nervous. And we will definitely start from the hospital the next time. So, um, Apple Cheeks offers two-ply inserts, three-ply um, and then they have boosters. They just have a regular bamboo root booster. They have um, a stay dry and then a micro terry. Um, but the micro terry is actually discontinued now. Um, and we use that one at night. So we don't get much use out of that during the day, but we do use it still. So right here is a two ply insert. Um, these are so absorbent and look how thin they are. Like they are so thin, but they are so absorbent. So we use these during the day and there's all kinds of different folds that you can work with to see what absorbs your baby's urine, um, you know, the best. So we actually use the boy fold, but we fold it further down than what um, most boy folds is. Most boy fold is just you fold it here and then you fold this side and then you fold the other side and that's the boy fold. And the reason they call it the boy fold is because it's thicker up here and when little boys pee, their pee goes up so it's thicker here and it's going to hold. 
Um, a girl's, sorry, wet zone is more like in the middle where boys is more up. So when, if you have a little boy, his um, penis needs to be pointed down. Um, if it's pointed up, then you're going to get leaks around the top of his belly. So just a little tip there. So that's what we use, but we actually, and I always do the tag at the top, that way I can tuck it in. So we actually fold it like half, we fold it more down, half, and then fold over. And we have used this fold since Wrigley was about four months old. So that's the fold, and it's so trim. We use this during the day, um, plus a booster, and I'm getting ready to uh, show you what that is. So, there are three different boosters. Um, hi, baby. He's waving at me. Here is just the regular two-ply. It's made out of bamboo, so it's made just like the insert. Um, but it's into a booster. So this is a booster. Um, and what we use it for, um, we put it in Wrigley's wet zone. So, hi, hi. We fold it in half, that way it will absorb more. So we take this booster, fold it in half, and here is his wet zone up at the top where it's more thick and we lay that on top. That way he has the two ply, which means um, it's made out of like two layers of bamboo. Uh, so as you can see, sorry the lighting is kind of bright, but there's one, two, three, four, five. Five um, rows that his urine has to get through before it touches the fleece and um, this works so well for us we have used it we continue to use it don't bro don't fix what's not broken so we've um, haven't switched up the folds or anything we've just always used this since he was about four months old um, so as you can see and we use um, so that's just the regular bamboo booster. It's just really thin, really trim. Um, and it just it's just a booster to help, you know, absorb his urine more if you ha are having a little bit of leaks with um, just the insert by itself. And I know multiple people who just use the insert by themselves and they don't have any issues. Here is a purple stay dry booster. Um, this purple is actually fleece, so it's the same as what's inside the diaper, inside the cover, and it, once he pees through this, it stays dry, that's why it's called a stay dry booster, and it soaks through, through the bamboo in the back, and goes into the insert. So this helps him stay dry and not have irritation, um, through the, to the, his urine. Um, which we've never had any issues with that. Um, so again, we just take these, fold them in half, and put them in the wet zone. And this is for a boy. You could put it in the middle for a girl, and you would probably be okay. Um, but this is what we use. So the this is a boy fold with a booster in the wet zone, and it's worked. This is also a stay dry booster, but it just has the white fleece. So it's the same thing as this. It's just white fleece. So it helps, you know, him stay dry. But we use all three of these boosters and they all three work amazingly. So these both are stay dry and this is just a regular two ply um, booster. So um, for a newborn, I recommend a trifold. Um, trifold is just literally folding it three times. So I guess I could probably do this. Folding it like we did the boy fold, but taking this side and point, 
putting it up. So three times, that's why it's called a trifold. It's so trim in the diapers, but um, it's very absorbent for those newborns who their pee isn't very uh, strong yet. So that's what I recommend for a newborn. And so when you put it in the, um, <laughs> in the cover, we just lay it on top and we tuck this into the elastic. That way it doesn't move. And then, sorry, it's not a very good reputation. Just tuck it into the elastic and in the back elastic. And you want your inserts to be, go all the way to the outside elastic here on the edge where it will be around the legs. If you don't have it touching that elastic, you will get leaks. So, but we just tuck it into the elastic here. Make sure it's touching the elastic here and tucked in in the front too. So once you fold this, I'm gonna show you how thin this is. I mean, it's very thin compared to other, whoops, you dropped it, other diapers. So that's what I recommend for a newborn and Wrigley was able to use that until he was about three and a half, four months and that's when we switched to um, the boy fold with the booster. So that's what I recommend, a tri-fold in a size one. Very good, it's very good, it works. I mean, these bamboo inserts are so absorbent, it's crazy. So we'll go on, this is a three-ply. It's just a little bit thicker than the two-ply. So it's made out of three layers of bamboo. And I like how Apple Cheeks labels their um, inserts because this one doesn't have any um, markings, like it's just plain, it matches the insert, but their three ply has blue around the edges, which I like because you can tell the difference between them. So the three ply we use at night. Um, it's very absorbent. Uh, we haven't had to use it during the day, but I know some people who have to move to three ply when their kids are really young because they are uh, heavy wetters. But Wrigley isn't, uh, so we haven't had to use these during the day. The only time I have used them during the day is when we were traveling along in the car or whatever, and I'll put a three ply in there just to make sure that he doesn't have any leaks through his diaper or anything, which we haven't had leaks in a long, long time. So, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time since we've had any leaks at all. So this is a three ply and we use this at nighttime with um, the micro terry. So I will show you the micro terry next and I'll show you what we use for nighttime. So this is a micro terry, which it, <laughs> which it is discontinued. They have discontinued them, um, but you can see it's marked red, which is awesome because this side is not supposed to touch your baby. This side is supposed to touch your baby. So I like that they marked it red. That way you can see um, if you are laying it on top of the fleece in the diaper, it needs to be like this and not like this. So just remember, tag down if you do have these. So we use this combination at night. So what I do is I take the micro terry and I put it in the middle. I put it in the middle here. It's a little bit higher than the three ply and I just wrap it with the three ply. And the reason why I do that is because the micro terry, um, if it can have compression leaks. So if you, if the, your baby is peed and you push on it, it's probably going to leak out where when you have the three ply wrapped around it and if it's pushed, their three ply is going to soak it up. So this is a little bit thicker, but it lasts. I can put this on him at eight o'clock at night and won't have to change him again until like nine, 10 o'clock, um, unless he, you, you know, has dirtied. But wet wise, I mean, this is what we use at night and we've used 
I think since he was like four months old. So, and he's now almost nine months and we have never had any issues with it whatsoever. So that's what we use and we take it and we stuff it. Um, during the day we lay on top of the fleece and at night we uh, stuff. So how I stuff, I have a ring on so I switch it or turn it around because I don't want it to get a hold of the pool. So I take this and it's the length of my arm and I take my other hand with the diaper and I open the pocket and I just shove this in just like this and just pull it until it's all the way up to the top of the belly elastic. So I move my hand further down a little bit and then I just pull out. So, and then I'll take my elastic and I will just flip it around, pull that. And so this is hanging out. All you, all you have to do is just tuck it in and then tuck it into the elastic. And that's what we use at night. And it's still, I mean, it's obviously thicker because you're wanting to, to go uh, longer at nighttime, but it's still, I mean, it's not as trim as your others, but for a nighttime diaper that you have to stuff a little bit extra, it's not that bad. Um, and when you open it, it's not that thick. So that's what we use at night and we do put it in a um, one size. I've accidentally put it in a size one like recently and it worked, but his butt crack was hanging out. But a good thing about Wrigley, he doesn't uh, dirty um, in the middle of the night. So he waits till morning to do it. Uh, so if he did ha had a dirty diaper, he wouldn't have had a blowout or he would have had a blowout because his crack was like at the very edge of the elastic. So that's what we use for nighttime. Um, and when you, I will say if you breastfeed your baby and, um, you cloth diaper, all you have to do is throw it in the washer. Breast milk is water soluble, so it will wash out in the washer. Um, whereas solids, not so much. Uh, you do have to spray your diapers and, um, excuse me, <laughs> you do have to spray them if they do have poop on their diaper or on the inserts or anything before you throw them in the wash because you don't want that in your washer. It, will, it can, it can ruin your washer. Um, and they may not come as clean. So what I have done, actually my husband, cause I told him we needed a sprayer to spray the diapers. And he's like, well, I'll just take the shower head and put the long shower head, which was in our master bathroom into the hallway bathroom. And you can spray them with that. And so far that has worked. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he did it. So, um, but I just sit there on the tub and I put my diaper in the toilet and I just spray it off. Um, but getting to that point, um, we use a liner, a fleece liner. This is not Apple Cheeks. Um, I don't know what brand this is or if somebody maybe have cut it themselves. Um, I don't know. I bought it off the, I bought it with like a lot off the Apple Cheeks by Sell and Trade. Um, but we do use fleece liners. It helps, you know, the baby where we lay the, uh, inserts on top during the day. It does help them stay dry. Um, and I have found out that it's easier to spray off poop with the liner than it is trying to get it off the diaper or the cover and um, the inserts. So this is what a fleece liner looks like. You actually can go to Walmart and buy fleece, um, like a fleece blanket. Hi. Hi. Uh, a fleece blanket or fleece material. Just something that's not just too heavy where they're going to get real hot or anything. Um, but you can. I have like all of my fle fleece liners are from Walmart and I just cut them myself to make them the length of the diaper. So this is a fleece liner. Um, they do make flushable liners that if they do poop you can flush them down the toilet. But I do not recommend that because it can clog up your septic tank or... 
Um, because they do say like they won't hurt it or anything, but they do. I've ha heard really um, from reliable people that, you know, I'm part of with Apple Cheeks talk about, you know, that they flush theirs and they really shouldn't. Now, I guess if you're not at home and you're like out and about and you flush it, that's not your problem. It's not, it's not your uh, house or anything. So if you want to buy those, go for it. Um, but these are, you know, the fleece liners and we love them. Um, we use them in all of our diapers now that he is starting or well, actually eating solids. Um, and it's just easier to spray the poop off of this than um, the inserts or the diapers. Um, I have, if it's like little skid marks, it doesn't matter. Um, but if it's like, you know, poop, then it needs to be sprayed off. Um, you can get sprayers. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can just buy them at Walmart, online, Amazon, anything like that. Um, we just use the shower head. <laughs> the ones that come off and you can spray. So, um, that's really the basics of Apple Cheeks. It's really not that hard. Um... It's just getting it and getting going. Um, your upfront cost for cloth will be a little bit expensive, but right now the cloth diaper, Apple Cheeks, I'm not gonna say all the cloth diapers, but Apple Cheeks market is kind of down right now. And you can get used diapers or covers like these for like, I don't know, nine, ten dollars a piece, and you really don't need that big of a stash to get started. Um, I have a big enough stash where I can go like a week and a half, two weeks without um, washing. I have a bag right here full of diapers, and the ones at the bottom haven't been washed in two weeks. And honestly, they don't stink. Um, I haven't had any trouble with that. I don't. They've never stunk. Um, now, I washed more when he was younger because he did poop every, like in every diaper he pooped. So I did wash about every other day. Um, but now I'm to the point where he uses maybe five, six diapers, usually five diapers at the babysitter and then like one when he gets home. Um, they do recommend, it's, it is normal to change a cloth diaper every two to three hours. Um, if not an hour and a half and honestly, it's really not that bad because you're washing it and you're not just throwing it away. So, um, I had no problem changing Wrigley that much. I was okay with it because I'm going to be washing them. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, but your upfront cost will be more expensive, but you have to remember that you can use these with your next child. Um, so what you're investing now, it is like an investment. You're investing in these diapers, um, and it's, it will cost you some money, but I mean, just once again, you can buy used or, um, my little Viking, which is my favorite store that I buy my apple cheeks from. Um, you can do layaway through her. It's like 90 days and you can pay whatever amount you want to. And she usually gives a discount off. Um, for like over five or six covers. So um, I would definitely look into that. And if you have any questions with that, you can get a hold of me um, and I can get a hold of Ashley or get you at, point you in the right direction. Um, but yeah, so it's it actually is really simple and um, we love it. Wrigley hasn't been in a disposable Probably since he was like five months old. And I think the only reason why he was in a disposable, I'm pretty sure he was at my mom's and he ran out of diapers and she had disposables and she just put one on him. But everybody in my family is, you know, supportive of it. Um, Anthony uses them, my mom, our babysitter, my grandma. Um, so they all use them and love them and we've had no trouble with them at all. So, I highly recommend. Um, obviously, I'm going to tell you that I think Apple Cheeks is the best. Um, their fit is amazing. Um, they are made with such good quality. Um, 
that it's I mean it's crazy like my cousin her his wife has cloth diaper three kids and her diapers still look brand new I bought these bought this one used and it looks brand new so I am going to tell you that if you are going to choose um, to move to cloth I would um, tell you to invest in apple cheeks because it, they're worth it um, and they may be a little bit more expensive but to me there you go oh goodness you're okay <laughs> um they are a little bit higher on the higher side um but um then again i mean your pet you're getting what you pay for um so if you spend a little bit more money you're probably going to get better quality but you can buy cheaper cloth diapers and start with those if you want to just to get the hang of it. I mean, it is what it is because I am make cloth mainstream. What? Whether you're using apple cheeks. Whether you, you're, you know, using apple cheeks or using another brand. Um, I mean... It's, I mean, it's worth it. it. It takes 500 years for a disposable to um, disintegrate at a landfill. So, no pulling. No pulling. No pulling mommy's hair. So, when I think about that, I'm like, that is just crazy when there's other, there is another option that you can go to uh, rather than disposables. So if anybody have has any questions, please, please, please reach out to me because I am um, definitely all for helping anybody get um, started with cloth. Um, I was very intimidated at first. I think that's why I didn't I didn't start. You know, I wanted to you know get our breastfeeding journey down. Um, but I also think I was intimidated because I was scared that I wasn't going to wash him good enough or um, that he would, you know, be, have breakouts or anything. And that's another thing. We have not had a diaper rash from his diapers. The only diaper rash he's had is from when he was on amoxicillin for an ear infection. Other than that, he's never had anything, um, anything but wise, what? but wise of a diaper rash. So that's another great thing. Um, you obviously, nobody wants their baby to have diaper rashes. So, um, yeah, if I missed anything that you were wanting um, answers to, please feel free to reach out to me and um, let me know and I will answer them the best way I can. Um, just get a hold of me and I'm more than happy to help you. Um, so I will definitely get more in depth with our apple cheeks and like all the different products that they offer. Um, you know, our wash routine, our daily, um, schedule or daily routine with them. Um, stuffing. I mean, I showed you kind of how to do it. Um, yeah, it's guys, it's so simple. It really is. So I highly recommend it to everybody. Um, and I highly recommend Apple Cheeks. They will take care of you. Peace. It's um, There's a Facebook page called Peace Love Apple Cheeks. The moms in there are amazing and they will help you in any way you can or any way they can. Um, you can post fit checks or anything like that, which means when you get the diaper on him, you can post a picture of it and they can help you with the fit. Um, I can help you with your fit. Anything like that, please let me know because I will gladly help you any way I can. So thank you for watching. Me and Wrigley is going to go hang out. You going to tell him bye? You going to wave? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Thanks for watching guys.